ladies and gentlemen behold uh, this is an e-bike battery bought in uh, by a customer yeah usual thing that says didn't work this is so big it won't even fit in the frame of the camera the triangular shaped pack probably fits inside the um, the crossbar on the, the bottom the angled rail uh, supposed to be 72 volts his friend had checked it out said it had no voltage in it we'll do that first Let's slide that across out of frame and I'll show you these two connectors that come on it plastic bag in case it shorts out against the screw or something that's the first dangerous thing to see that's an IEC plug I assume it's one for charging and one for uh, for the power probably one for the power, it's got thicker wires on it so that's dangerous for a start so in the UK that's called a kettle lead and the other parts of that yeah, fits into there directly from the mains and if somebody didn't know you plug that <laughs> lipo straight into the mains that's my first thought anyway <laughs> very dangerous okay, positive okay so that is showing is that 11.2 volts the strange thing is I think it's showing the same can I get that in there it's about the same on there as well so probably one of these are charging but you know if you've got a screw or something lying in there that would not be good so hopefully it won't shot anything out here ah yeah. 18650 seems to be a few hundred in series in parallel this side <coughs> even though it's got a red wire in it that seems to be negative side okay does that say uh, 71 volts more or less so the 71 volts produced by the pack but only 12 volts coming out of the um, power wires uh, power connector is shown so it's got to be something here that's dropping all the voltage if I apply something like 80 volts DC across there maximum of 84 that should give me some idea if this is actually working as a charger we know it doesn't work as a discharger <laughs> Uh, far from it so um, I've only got you probably see over there I've got 13 volts uh, that's a maximum I have so what would work as I need to step that up to 80 volts where's my box okay so we set that up for I set this up for 75 volts and I think I set it on about one amp I just plug that into the end of the, the main power out or power in straight from that. And you see that shot up to about eight and a half amps on the on the input. That's Seventy-five volts. I'll try and get the original charger. Uh, that didn't come uh, with a pack from the customer. I'll charge it up off that and see if we can get these um, cells up to about 4 volts or something like that so uh, initial impressions are that the uh, this board does actually charge I don't know if it charges all of them I'd have to check them all uh, and banks see if they've got, all the banks come up to about 4 volts each if you can see that 84 volts so that's like 2 amps uh, lithium ion charger I plugged it in from uh, where's the output lead? That's there. The output lead of the charger that I see into the battery connector, which is that one, and nothing happened. Okay, so I was looking at this for a while, and what's going on? Um, that's got a fuse on there. See the fuse on the end? I don't know if it's an input fuse or output fuse, but that had blown. 
uh, an F5, a quick blow 5 amp. So I replaced it, plugged it in, and it instantly went pop, instantly blew the fuse. I plugged the battery into the charger even before um, plugging the mains in and it blew the fuse st uh, straight away if that can be seen so without connecting the mains to the charger this battery connected uh, to the charger just blew the fuse straight away so <laughs> that's got to be some sort of charger issue I didn't have the same trouble when charging the battery off this it didn't blow it out and short it out or anything like that if there would have been a short there I mean that would have, the current on this probably dropped to zero or the voltage would have dropped to zero or whatever so uh, looks like we got charger issues I checked the batteries individually they're in, they're in banks of six for voltage before I started all of them came up to about 3.3 .3 volts per bank apart from one spin this round I've written on these that bank there that bank of bank of six one two three four five six then we come up to 2.8 volts didn't think anything of it at the time I just realized a couple of minutes ago that some of these lithium protection circuitry like that they kick out or kick out or knock off at 2.8 volts so that may have um, caused caused this to shut down and not give the voltage on the output so if you rewind a little while you will saw that I charged it up with this for about half an hour both through the BMS and on the just put it directly across the battery and I just checked the cell now a few minutes ago this bank of 2.8 has come up to about 3.3 .3. so I was thinking hmm what if I connect the BMS back the way it was and check the voltage on the output now across the main power output 71.7 volts if you rewind to the beginning to the depths of part one you'll find that original when I tested this it came out as 12 volts so obviously bumping these banks of cells up to where the rest of them were 3.3 volts each it seems to have taken the protection offline on there so this may indeed work yeah, let's get this original uh, charger up to show you again this may be interesting because I have taken this apart um, I had to look online for something like this not available in this country it's only from AliExpress I think this exact same charger I think it was a Sun Home Make priced at $150 plus about $70 shipping but I'll put all this back together and charge it through the BMS and hopefully be able to discharge it through the BMS as well so that's for the next part all right now we're cooking oh somebody somebody's got a lawnmower outside when I'm trying to speak that's typical okay so I've purchased one of these um, step up um, converter capable of 120 volts I've set that on um, 84 volts and one amp output release nobody cutting the grass in January okay so it's yeah outputting one amp so this is going to take a while it's only gone up to 73 and a half volts at the moment I'm going to leave that run for <coughs> hopefully a couple of hours without destroying anything so what I'm going to do I'm going to finish off charging it with this up to 84 volts it's only gone up to 80 at the moment so I'll finish it off while I've had it like this I've checked individual banks I've checked most of the banks here 
it's supposed to be balance charged put a few figures together uh, maybe maybe is that focusing that's close enough for me so they're about 3.7 3.7 the other end a couple of 4.2s in the middle and the one bank that was 2.8 that's that one that's only come up to about 3.6 at the moment it's possible that in the banks there's one duff cell so as soon as you take off and charge that just draws the voltage down i don't know i'm not going to find out i'm not going to take the uh, the banks apart to find out so next step will be charge up to 84 volts and i think then we'll just sling it back together and hook onto the bike and see what happens i managed to repair the charger I've, um, swapped out a couple of bits a capacitor diode and a dual diode see i hooked it up charging away nicely this is what we like to see uh the clamp meter on scene what the current going in two amps uh, two yeah close enough two amps yes 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 and thrice and triple and four times yes it's fully charged can you see the light on the charge there's some sort of green light on there it's a bit to the side but it says it's charged that's good enough for me fan stop spinning uh let's check on the total voltage from that, I'll stick that in there. Stick that in there. 84 see that over there 84.2 volts total voltage so that's good we know it charges I also know that it actually discharges not under much of a load but um, seeing as I don't have a 72 volt 4000 watt motor to hand I had to improvise a little bit and just came up with some 12 volts um, lamps all in series uh, seven of those 84 volts so discharge that for about six hours I had to discharge it because um, otherwise it wouldn't charge up again if, if the thing said it was full still tape this back together <laughs> this whole drama get this finished with get it back to Tony he'll be happy he's gonna work <laughs> okay <laughs> That's it for now. Thanks for staying up, watching through all of this. Cheerio. Hi, uh, this is an update. I thought I'd get this battery back, but not like this. Uh, the customer complained it wasn't working, so, so let's have a look at it for you. So I tried to put the charge in, um, wouldn't take any charge. Um, stripped it down, see what was going on check the output voltage on the terminals 12.7 volts oh Jesus so this is discharged somehow so how I don't know uh, I checked the bike while it was standing uh, supplied 84 volts to it and see what the current draw was and even when it's standing it was it was take about 30 milliamps but 30 milliamps that's nothing you can this pack of lights it's like a couple of leds lighting for a year without without any discharge so some things discharge it doesn't seem to be the bike so it must be i can only assume it's this exactly this sort of thing that a bms is supposed to protect against it's actually caused and it's ruined it's ruined this battery pack it's about a thousand pounds worth of battery so I check the it's not gonna damage anything now is it I checked a few of these cells to say they're in groups of in groups of six and there's only four groups showing about uh, three volts the rest of them they're showing zero volts. Let's take a random put that in there so you can see. It. Let's take a random swab. Nothing there. Going up a bit. That's if I can see it. nothing there, but I'm making contact with these. Nothing on the outside. I marked one as 3.2. It's one of four that's showing a voltage. So that one, that one's the same. This one next to it, zero, zero. 
I've actually tried putting charge across these individual banks. Um, they just won't accept any charge. They are totally flattened and totally dead. What a piece of shit. Nothing more to be said for this than <sighs> beware battery packs with BMSs causing the problems it was supposed to, it's been designed and engineered to avoid. Jesus.